right there, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse, of course. Uh, but right now, we are poised to strike into Kesa, in which, well, it looks like we're already doing pretty gosh darn well. Let's see. They have up to 40 divisions max. They've already lost 2,000 people. And, well, we're doing pretty darn well. Got a couple comms to go through. Uh, but let's go ahead and smash these guys first, because, well, we have a much bigger problem probably to deal with somewhat soon. Uh, right now we're doing a River Empire Focus, so if we want to read that, we can go ahead and do so. From Nimbusia to Deponia, from the Zebra Lands to Farbrook, our domain stretches over the entirety of Eastern Griponia. However, our lands are far too large for mere prince to govern. It's about time that we organize our inheritance and into an imperial title that rivals that of the Griffin Empire. We get political power, stability, and we become known as uh, the River Empire and get a lot of cores, which is awesome! So... But first, we've got to take these, guys, take these guys out, and then we'll go to war with the Kingdom of Lushi, because, well, I've already started justifying on them. I'm going to pretty much take everyone out that we can to, uh, do, uh, you know, just have a good time with them. And I probably, I might lower my conscription level, because I had to go to All Adult Serve, which is a bit ridiculous. But I might go down to Service by Requirement, depending on what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, also, a couple comments. <clears throat> uh, there's two focuses that we can do, like Anti-Griffin Warfare, that we had to be at war to do this one. And I believe it's the... Another one of these that we had to be at war to do as well. It wasn't this one. It might have been the Bukrovic incident. Maybe anti-Griffin propaganda. But there were two focuses that we had to do. Um, to That we had to be at war at the same time. So if you want to read these, if I haven't done yet. Uh, just go ahead for these focuses. Uh, Bukrovic incident. That's actually really not too bad. Uh, Anti-Griffin warfare, of course, as well. So, And then we also had Down the Coalition. No, we already had that one. We already had Divine Sacrifice. Let's see. I did a lot of the Army... Or the, yeah, the Army 1 stuff here. So, develop small arms. Import Pegasus Doctrine. Revolutionize the Army. Of course, we, I think we did Tungsten Bolts together. Lake City Engineer Corps. Mature our Doctrine. Motorized Divisions. Armored Warfare experience, Experiments. And then I did a lot of the uh, air stuff. <clears throat> Let's see. Jezzer Grad Aluminum. Of course, Jezzer Grad Aluminum was actually really, really good to choose. Because it gives you quite a bit more agility than the other one. We already did a lot of these. I can't even remember at this point. Uh, there's that one. There's the Jasa Air Factory. So really, like I said earlier, they just give you a lot of blueprints. Not that much. And we still can rebuild our navy, though. Which would be good. <clears throat> so... And I did make one ship so we can start getting a lot more naval XP because I think we need at least some sort of navy, right? Some sort of small navy. Uh, and it was recommended in yesterday's video that I go ahead and build up some more refineries. I can always import more oil, but I should start building our own refineries. We got some cruisers here. That's really nice. 1016. Uh, we want to go all the way then. 1011 cruiser. Cool. And we'll try to bomb some stuff, but whatever. No, I don't think I'll call you in. I'll take this all for myself. Willem also been wounded. Uh, so asked or said that the uniform for Grand Prince Heavenly Snow looks kind of Austro-Hungarian. I kind of agree just with that, that sort of that look. That look he gives you. It's kind of Austro-Hungarian. Uh, let's see what else for comments yesterday. And Pegasi are very good for attacking over rivers. I didn't realize that but thank you for that comment because I now realize that Pegasi, you want to use Pegasi for like stuff like that because they're really really good. You can pair drop them apparently as well. Oh so good. So good. How oh, they're running for their lives. Run for your lives and die along the way. Uh, help them out. There you go. Uh, oh, we need the capital. Oh, wow, those light tanks are not looking so good. Tito Titovich. Doing pretty well himself. Uh, ground attack initiative. What are we missing right now? Nothing, but we're going to need a lot of artillery, infantry equipment. We have some armored cars as well, which is kind of nice. And we're going to need a lot more, maybe some more support equipment. Let's get a few more armored cars first, just in case. Anything there? Anything here? No. Cool. Go ahead and head on down if you can. Kill these guys off if you can. It really doesn't matter. Oh, oh we have another research thing we could do. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep do doing my navy a little bit more. I'm going to do these two. But we also got to start focusing on this stuff as well. To really catch up with our navy. Because we'll get the air stuff done eventually. I'm not too worried about it. So, Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Cool. 
the like empire. In a lavish ceremony, Grand Prince Heavenly Snow has been crowned Emperor of all ponies in Eastern Griffonia. This has come in the aftermath of a climactic struggle between the nation of Lake City and its former allies in the River Coalition. It is hoped that by uniting all the ponies on Griffonia continent, they will be able to afford additional security against the threats of the Griffin aggression. Our River Empire 1.18. Eh, that's not bad. Not great. That's a little bit less than I was expecting. But the River Empire is not bad. Now we can do Fortress Busters. Maintenance course. Actually, that's not too bad. Rebuild the Lake City Navy. Yeah, I'm thinking we might do that one. We could get Revenge. Unlocks the Division Broj Jadan. Uh, you know what? Let's have this just in case whenever we need it. In the year 752, Lake City was sacked and destroyed by the Griffonian Empire. Much of our wealth and heritage was lost, along with our last prince who was overthrown by his very subjects out of misguided anger. So we got revenge for that. Cool. Uh, we're going to need more guns probably where we're going. Get a few more of those. And then... Oh yeah, we got a lot more of these. Ooh. We're going to need a lot more rubber and aluminum. God dang it. Oh, that's going to suck. Doing that actually hurts us, so <laughs> let's not do that. Steel and tungsten are fine. I'm not going to hurt aluminum. Rubber. We don't have that much rubber. Go up to two if you need to. You know what? We got plenty of room for this. And we're going to need a lot of this anyway, so. Cool. Nice. <clears throat> actually, we're at 18. I want to drop it down to 10%. Because 20% versus 10%. We're definitely going to be losing more population if we do that. Oh, Actually, what is cord here and what is not? It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, this is obviously our core territory. But, hmm. I want to core this area. I do need to integrate these guys as well, so. We have a claim on these territories. Oh, that's a... Oh, oh, oh. Maybe we should not have done River Empire. Because... Ooh. Because then I wouldn't be able to core this territory. Oh, god dang it. I know we have it as a core. Okay, that's a good way that is a core. Diamond, this area we do not. So... <clears throat> We've already started building stuff up around here. Build some air bases, and then... Build some more civilian factories. There we go. But keep making at least one refinery. That'd be good. Cool. And there goes Kesa. Very, very nice. Cool. Lucian ideals. Well, they got to go as well. Ooh. Unread port strikes. Cool. <clears throat> uh, we have our other army over here. And they're pretty good. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to start transferring some of these bigger soldiers over there instead. Uh... There you go. Because we don't need that big of an army, I think, over here. But it's still pretty necessary. Uh, let's see. Deponia, thanks for playing, but I'm going to annex you eventually, so I don't need your divisions anymore. There are you guys right there. Got some more of these guys. Grab some more convoys, because I want to get as much naval XP as possible from just a single ship. Got plenty of political power now. Get early battleship templates. Create a variant. Uh, I guess we might as well. Why not? Military training, that's okay. Hmm... I really wonder. Because we are, Those bonuses are hurting us quite badly. We do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm, though, right now. Ah, then we go to war immediately. Great. If we want to. <clears throat> if we want to. Get some basic heavy batteries. Cool. After them, Azura. I did use Azura in the, in the time lapse quite a bit. She's actually... He? She? Quite, quite good. Now, I don't want to increase the, the size of... Or the amount of territory we have to defend against a Griffonian Empire, because they are massive and they're allied with the Reich's Mandate Stuttenstadt and the Duchy of Cloudberry. Oh my goodness. Wait, where is that one? Ah, they're right there. And their military size, well, it looks like I'm going to have to keep all the manpower that we currently have. They have so many factories, so many divisions. Oh my gosh. Oh no, 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 no. I might take off Farbrook because we can. I don't know, we'll see. Eh, they have no faction. So it's us, the East Griffonian Co-Prosperity Sphere, versus these guys. I might take out Farbrook because we can't. Oh, yeah, I don't want to take out Fir Tree Village. Uh, how long would it take to go to war those guys? Just with someone else under us. That'd be kind of nice. Alright, how's our planes looking right now, too? Uh, that's actually not too bad. Get some of those guys. We do have enough tactical bombers. Not for three level now. We have some carrier fighters, too. Wow. Cool. There we all right there. 
Give it about a few seconds and then we'll go to war. I'm not sure what to do with all this extra stuff now. Uh, Less armor for carriers? No. Um, carriers get more armor and HP. That's not good. I don't like that one. Everyone gets more range, but capture ships get more armor. I think this one's better. Just do more naval speed. But we can't do that because we need to develop a short range navy. So we can't do that right now. God dang it. Uh, recovery rate. I still haven't done that one. Hmm. Ground support. Air superiority is not bad. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that one because that's usually pretty darn good to do. Now they're not attacking us, which is fine. Uh, I'll take you guys. Go right there if you can. You should be able to smash them pretty. Actually, you know what? Just have everyone smash. Can everyone smash? Oh, yeah. Everyone can smash. I like smashing. Yeah, they're mostly smashing well. Mostly. Anything else around here? No? Okay. You guys are all just still kind of hanging out. Mm hmm. Hmm. We're gonna need a massive army. Yeah, it's gonna be a massive army. Oh, and we're doing pretty darn well. I like it. <clears throat> Excavation six is awesome. It's almost ten sixteen. Do we still need more rubber? Uh, we're kind of okay for now. No, guys, we're okay. We're okay. I'm going to need some political power to annex our puppet, though. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Subjects. Target to second battery. We're going to need quite a bit of political power to do that. Let's see. Dual, dual purpose. That's great. Any of the list is extending our border with the Griffonian Kingdom. Whatever. It's fine. I kind of plan on doing this anyway, so... And armored cars looking pretty good. Garrisons are made up fully of armored cars. There goes the Kingdom of Lushi. Thank you for playing. At this point, yeah, we're going to need way more divisions. Oof. Let's see. Deponia. You and then you. Questions of motives. That's fine. Get rid of these templates because they are under from Deponia. That'd be fine. Anything out here? No, these are all from Deponia. These guys, uh, mostly Diamond Dog, Magical Infantry, Infantry, Infantry. Cool. Goodbye. And then you guys, well, I appreciate your efforts about how you helped us out. But unfortunately, you gotta go for now. Got some. Oh, just grab this one first. Cruisers are pretty good to make. Awesome. If anyone needs a train, go right ahead. Eventually, we want to build up all these areas as well. There we go. And then, probably some radar actually would probably be pretty beneficial for us. Go and do that too. Build some more of this up first. Uh, you know what? Radar down there too, maybe. Radar over here. Ah, throw our ra radar everywhere. Radar everywhere. And we'll build up these territories too. I guess we've mostly got enough resources for us for ourselves. That's pretty good. Basic heavy batteries. Great. Let's grab some of uh, this. All or nothing armor scheme. We are using up our naval XP right now. It is what it is. Whatever. And this is 105 day focus. That's that's quite a while. Woo. Let's see. Ah, tool, purpose, secondary batteries. Let's grab some of you. That'd be good. Let's see. Probably put a few more planes on here. There we go. Let's put you guys up. Because it, the last major war is between us and the Griffonian Empire. I could train these guys. Uh, I, suppose we, I suppose we could train them. Why not? Then you guys, what, what's over, what are we doing over here? Because we're going to need a lot of fighters. Oof. Revenge for 762. Opponent of the Griffin Throne. Lose political power stability. will be known as the Holy Opponent Empire, which is what we want to do. This will up to every Griffin and they might rise up against us. Well, at this point, I don't think they really have much of a choice. But now, let's go and do rebuild the Lake City Navy, because this stuff is okay. We don't really need it, so... In the past, the lake, which gives our nation its name, used to be owned by three equally powerful city-states who fought each other for a local dominance. Part of this conflict took place on the way where great navies would clash upon the water in climactic skirmishes. Now that we once again have access to hostile waters, it's time to reactivate this Lake City Navy and bring back its former glory. Naval XP, which is awesome, and three more dockyards, which is also great. Medium batteries. Let's go ahead and grab some better batteries, because we're really focusing on this stuff right now, which is awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Are we still mobilizing? Good. Keep mobilizing. Do not stop mobilizing, even though it hurts us kind of... Kind of greatly. Light tanks. I don't believe in light tanks now. Uh, I could give it to our puppet, but we'll just build, we'll build stuff in Deponia. I don't really care. Carrier fighters. At this point, I don't think we can really use them. So carrier naval bombers. Goodbye. And we're making, we're researching just battleships anyway. So 
Evil bombers, magical equipment. I guess we're not probably gonna use a magical equipment in this campaign. I mean, technically we do have the capabilities for it, but maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Get some medium batteries, some light batteries. That'd be good. Oh, invest in nuclear power. Ooh, I should probably research nuclear power next. Sounds like fun. Bright creeks. I thought this said bright cheeks. Oof. Hmm, I got some bright cheeks there, huh? Uh, actually, Farbrook. Go right there. Should do okay right there. Uh, you guys. You can put that up there first. That's fine. Uh, fuel wise, how are we doing? We're doing great. We're doing actually really, really great. Oh, wait. Do we have a war goal against a Griffonian Empire whenever we want? The longer we wait, the stronger they become, but we'll see what happens. I'm just not. We're not ready yet at all. Short range navy. Let's see. Ooh, carrier stuff. Yeah, that's probably what we gotta do. Develop a long range navy. I like that. You get, oh, you do get more deck size, though. Everyone does get more range. But we're not using carriers, so it just makes sense to do this one. Adopt Diamond Dog stuff. Oh, adopt Bakarian designs. The Republican Navy of Bakaran is by far the strongest within the River Coalition, possessing the Alliance single capital ship. The battleship is what gives the River Coalition its bite and allows us to dominate the waters of Eastern Griffonia. The blueprints for the ship's designs are closely guarded secret, but we should be able to pull some strings and get access to the Bakarian records. Well, we killed them, so we should be able to do it, right? Go whenever we can. Yeah, we'll annex Deponia. Other than that, we're pretty much limited. We could have made, naval invade the Union of Grin Cliff Hives or whatever. But let's see what happens. We made these guys 40 combat with us too. You know what? Give me some more. I want some more. How much manpower do these guys have? Because I'll make these guys 40 combat. Okay, never mind. Never mind. They have no more manpower. Okay, whatever. Whatever. And now we can just straight up annex them. We can only get 1.14 political power today. Not great, but whatever. Very good. Coffee's pretty awesome. <clears throat> so close. 10, 15 cruiser. Awesome. Anything else we need to throw on those guys? Yes. There is something else that I would like to do. Anti-air. Because level 1 stuff is not really ideal. Uh, come here, actually. Yeah, that'll be fine for now. Uh, and we can lower autonomy. Thank you, Deponia. Beautiful. Even more divisions. Uh, let's see. I don't mind sorting you guys out. You guys are 20 combat width. I can convert you to on hoofs divisions. Go right there. There you go. Uh, you can go over there now. It's fine. And then you guys... You know what? I'm just going to convert you to on hoofs divisions as well. There you go. I'm doing it like this, because so this way we have generals ready to go uh, for here. Let's see. Uh, sunrise, Sky. Uh, iron Water, Thunderwing. We have no tanks. That's fine, whatever. Cool. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, you look really bad. Oh, I just you just look bad because I just converted you guys. Yep, we have the, their cores now. That's great. Do we, I wish we got cores on this. There's really less of a point for me to annex these guys since we can't core them. Ah, oh, so sad. I know. And poop heavy batteries. Oh, wait, I thought we could go to war. My bad. A few days. Just a few more days. Uh, we're doing anti-air stuff. Gra oh, yeah, I'll just have to, grab, to grab armor schemes for that. I'm not even going to touch cruisers in until we have those armor schemes done. Alright, come on. Oh, adopt Bakarian designs. Uh, adopt Diamond, Di Diamond Dog designs. The Diamond Dogs of the Diamond Mountain are not very familiar with naval combat. However, what expertise they do possess has gone into constructing fairly proficient screening ships. This is due to their background in submarine warfare. If we're able to acquire their designs, we can ensure that our destroyers would have a de decisive edge against hostile submarines. And that would be very, very good. Mm, I'm going to start... Filling out the ranks here a little bit better with whatever we have. Uh, with you guys. I'm going to put you guys all over here. Because this is more of the spec ops and then just kind of generic. Really generic <laughs> group. Oh, there we go. We can work for Moonshine. Oh, crap. They're man land. An envoy from Griffenheim. The capital of their search and mighty Griffonian Empire revived in Jezreel today. She presented our leader an ultimatum written by Archon Eros the Seventh, where they reserted their claim over all Griffin majority territories east of the Creeper Mountains. They demand us to pull back our troops from the occupied regions at once and dismantle any administration we have established. If we fail to do so within three days, they will use military force to retake the territories which were once theirs. Our government is in a mix of anger and panic, but we don't have much time to decide how to respond to the ultimatum. Oh, I, they, have, oh, potentially over a thousand divisions. I can't deal with that right now. How much? Oh, so what's their flag? That's a, that's their flag. What what lands do they claim? Like seriously, how, what do they claim? If they don't give me what, what they claim, oh crap. Hmm. Hmm. 
Rywin, free communities of Longsword. I'm not really sure. Reclaim our colony? Shackle the South. I mean, they're they're pretty flipping huge, so... I, I We have nowhere near that amount of divisions. <clears throat> hmm. If we can avoid a war with them for now... I want to see how much we lose. How much land do we lose? We've got some heavy ships. Hmm. I mean, if they, we give up Hellquill, I mean, I'll be kind of okay with that, but I really don't know. A little bit of lag. Um, you know what? We killed off Lucy for this. This actually gives us a much more defensible border. This actually is not bad. You know what? So be it. That could have been much worse. And we still have our war goal against them, and I will kill them off later. Now we got... Uh, did we lose any territory here? I don't think we did. Jezergrad. We did maybe lost a few factories, but... So be it. They really want to kill me off. I don't want to kill them off now. How dare you take my stuff. And we're out of political power, too. It's a smart decision to do whatever we can to preserve our military for now. The Pony Empire is just way too huge. Okay, well, uh, can I send any volunteers? No, I'm at war right now, so I can't. Good luck, guys. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Good. 18 more divisions immediately. Great. Mm, they're both politically connected. I don't like that. That's okay, though. Basic cruiser armor scheme. Incline belt cruiser armor scheme. That's good. Adopt diamond dog designs. And adopt Nimbusian designs. The National Navy of Nimbusia has access to some of the most advanced cruiser designs within the entire River Coalition. While the bulk of their meager navy exists to support the Sky Carrier, it can't be denied that they produce fantastic support ships. Our navy would be well served by importing some of Nimbusia's designs. Oh, well, that's kind of worthless for us now, since we already did all the cruiser stuff. Whatever. Wow. Alright, so we're still building this stuff up. It's kind of okay. Maybe one more thing of refineries. What else do we need? We're building up a lot of roads. Get some more uh, radar. Maybe I can give them some radar that we already built up. Whoops. That's not good. Boom, boom. Like Festival. This happens every episode, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, you know what? Hmm. Oh, there goes Firebook. Cool. I'm just going to straight up annex him because we can. Thank you. Cool. Alright, so you guys can now actually have a front line too. Really kind of concentrated here. Do that when you need to. What we're going to do is build up more land forts like what he did earlier. Cool. And 10, 15 heavy ships. Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab anything else here. Carriers. Oh, heavy weaponry. Because we need a fallback line somehow, somewhere, to just in case things go poorly for us. And it doesn't take too long to build all this stuff up, so. Because those griffins have a massive navy. <clears throat> and we are definitely the underdog. You know, we were the underdog before, but we had to do what we had to do because this is a little bit too not good for us. But make sure we keep building ourselves up, too. There we go. <clears throat> Keep building, building, building. Oh, uh, they have... Hopefully they're taking a lot of attrition. Up to 1,500. God dang. Alright, now let's develop a short-range navy. Our short-range navy would be tasked with patrolling coastal waters and waters close enough to friendly lands that ground-based aircraft can support them. Such a navy would allow us to invest into heavier armor and bigger guns, offering such ships greater staying power compared to their counterparts in attacking navies. Good. Very, very good. Yeah, hmm. 
We need more divisions. Advanced medium batteries. Good, good. Uh, anything else around here? Could do torpedoes. Could get this up, but we don't really need to. Let's start doing some more naval doctrine. Fleet and Bing. Might as well begin doing this one. So we'll get 1.14. That's fine. Man, that is a massive army. Uh, let's see. You guys are actually intertwined with us here. I'm going to actually make you guys a little bit stronger by doing this. So we have a few more divisions per tile, hopefully. Anti-air upgrade 1. anti -air, So yeah, at least level 3, so they encounter any enemy sh planes. They can deal with them, hopefully, fairly effectively. How are the force coming along? Uh, they're coming along pretty nicely, actually. So they're pretty spread out as well, which is kind of nice, but they have so many divisions. Like, this might not, might not be, even be their entire navy. Or, I mean, I mean army. Like, that's this is getting a bit ridiculous, not gonna lie. Uh, okay, so heavy ships, heavy ships, no, no. What can we throw in here immediately? Uh, radar 4 is pretty good. Light cruiser 3... 4. Yeah, this one's better. <clears throat> good. It's not bad. Don't have all the uh, naval XP in the world. We're going to put more anti air on here soon enough. I'll throw on one more. Actually, anti sub warfare wouldn't be, not be bad. Anti air. Or another rapid fire gun. There you go. That's not done yet, but we got to save a little bit of time. Uh, for this one, we got to get level 4. Level 3. No, we got to get level 4 stuff. Uh, battle cruiser. Eh, I like battle cruisers. Let's try battle cruisers. Why not? And we don't have enough for that, so whatever. <clears throat> Decryption? Might as well. Could get even better radar, but we got to wait. What are they going to manually justify on me? Hmm. I like this one. What is that one? Ooh. Nice. Let's grab the best one. <clears throat> Only three to develop an intelligence agency? That's kind of nice, actually. It's kind of nice. But odd. Oh, we're, we're quickly moving up through here. It's already 10, 17, so I'm thinking if we can do this well enough, we might... If once we can, like, really weaken the Griffonian Empire's army, the next episode could potentially be the last one in this campaign. I'm not really sure, but we'll see what happens. Oh, I need to do nuclear reactors, too. God dang it. How many crystals do we have? Not enough. Not enough. A good amount, but not enough. Ooh, oil fields. Ooh. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Advanced heavy batteries, great. So we have no destroyer stuff, which is fine. Could get some torpedoes. Maybe the depth charge throwers could be pretty good as well. But like I said, I wanted some more of this. Or start doing this, you know, nuclear reactors. That'd be good. Develop short range navy. And then we'll do torpedo cruisers. Establish Dockyard Guild. The Dockyard Guild is a proposed corporation which will be responsible for the construction, development, and maintenance of dockyards in Lake City, even though it says Construct Shield. This will be a uniquely challenging objective due to the fact that all of our coastline is on freshly acquired lands, which can create tension between local populations and this firm. But that's okay. That is totally okay. UDS? That's a really cool symbol. Let's go get some passive defense. You never know. Doesn't cost us that much, hopefully. Over here, Toad Anti Air. Yeah, but it's mostly four ships. Alright. Early heavy battleships, oh boy. No, thank you. Uh, uh, fire control. Improved anti air. Okay, heavy battery 4, that's not bad. We can save that design for now. Anti air 3. Uh, yeah, it's probably best we do that one. Anti air 3 is fine enough. Radar 4 is good enough. You guys, let's grab some heavy batteries. Level 4 is good enough. So now we're out. Uh, even more anti air. That could be pretty beneficial. It is 1017. We can't do anything down here. Could get more fuel. Could get more rubber. We're going to wait, though. Uh, we're doing that one as well. Support companies, 1019. Oh, yeah. Let's get some of this, too. And I don't want to forget about Pegasi divisions. I know. Pegasi, Pegasi, Pegasi. I'm going to help you guys do that. Cool. Tungsten stuff. Since we're here, we might as well. All or nothing armor scheme. Great. Great. So we're done with those two. Depth charge throwers? Eh, we could probably do that too. Why not? And let's see, you guys are done. Throw them all right here, because we might as well. Any more? You know what? There you go. 
Ukraine. And you guys are... There you go. Boom, boom. Boom. Because they're going to need that immediately. And we're going to definitely need more planes. Okay. So, or really just more military factories. Lower this by 10. There you go. Lower this by another 10. That's fine. We need a little bit more rubber. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, forget it here. Yeah. Mark 1 decryption. Grab another thing of refineries right there. Mark 1 decryption. Awesome. Better radar. Yeah, we could probably do that. Why not? Okay, not bad. Passive defense. Just let them go on. More passive defense. Uh, we're halfway through that one. Hey, an operative. Great. Let's go with Cloud a little because he's got a monocle. That's awesome. Oh, Pegasi. Yes, 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 yes. Throw him on there. That'd be great. Military training. Meh, that's kind of okay. We already have enough army XP anyways. Cool. Water is great. And we could probably next do marine technology. Ooh, ship cost for cruisers. Not bad. Ooh, what is that? Carrier models. Oh, we can't do that one, though. Mm, torpedoes? I guess we should probably do some torpedo stuff. Not sure why not get some naval XP. When we dismiss the need for long distance operations, we open up a wide range of possibilities for furthering our navy. One such proposal calls for the installation of torpedo tubes on our current cruiser designs, greatly increasing their firepower, which will be a great, great thing. Come on. I just want to get this done. Come on. Are we almost there? Oh, come on. How many more days do we have left? No more days. Cool. Depth charge throwers. Go ahead and just build another army here. An entirely another army. And we're out of generals. At least unique generals. Alright, so that's the case. You know, I'm not going to call him Deponia then. Deponia? Well, obviously I'm not going to call him Deponia. Uh, but we're going to do that right there. That's going to be good. There we go. And depth charge throwers. Subs. Ooh. More torpedo? Uh, we must get some torpedo ship launchers then. That's fine. And we're going to need more divisions here. That's why, that's why I'm stalling. I'm not going to warp. Probably we'll go to war at the beginning of the next episode. But right now, I want to go through as many focuses as we can. Build up our navy as much as we can, as well as our army. This is what this episode is mostly for after we have united and become the River Empire, which is great. Great, great, great. Cruisers. Level 3 is probably good enough, like I said earlier. Torpedoes, we could probably wait a little bit more. Anti-air 3. Good, good, good. I might I might just wait now for torpedo. F better torpedoes, maybe. Uh, you know what? Oh, we need this too. Armor 4. You know what? At this point, let's go make some of these. They're not great, but they'll suffice for now. Military factories, you can do that as well. That'd be fine. Just gonna do that too. That'd be good. What else can we do here? Expand tungsten mines? We don't need more tungsten. Uh, let's go ahead and grab... Not that. This one. Yes. Advanced infantry equipment. Uh, 1019. Grab this as well, because, and then we'll go back and focus a little bit more on our Pegasi, or special race stuff. We got plenty of guns, plenty of artillery. That's awesome. Need more fighters, though. Need more aluminum, need more rubber. There you go. One more divisions. You know what? I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make one more here. There you go. That is a big border they gotta guard. It's a massive border. New commander, which we can't afford yet, which is fine, whatever. If you guys need it, keep training. Because this army is not going to be great. This army is obviously better, because they have 40 combo with divisions, but whatever. Whew. Okay, so how are the land forts coming along? We're almost done with them, wow. This might not be enough land forts, though. Because look at all the divisions they have. An insane amount. An absolutely bonkers amount. Complete and being cool. Let's go and grab some battleship concentration. Awesome. Better radar, that's fine. 1018, more research speed. Happy 1018, my friends. New year, new us. Hopefully we'll do okay. Oh, right here is definitely really going to get pretty hard, I'm pretty sure. If I do that one, that'd be fine. As long as we can get enough air XP, we'll be okay. I'm glad they're suffering a lot of attrition, though. That looks really good for us. Oh, there's so many divisions, though. Stockpiles, we don't really know. Keep doing this. We could try to get cryptology, but whatever. Torpedo cruisers, awesome. 
Uh, Marines, let's go to this one. Since the reactivation of the Lake City Navy, the engineers of Jezograd armaments have been designing new and more powerful weapon systems for ships. One such design has been a long lance torpedo, a torpedo which promises to have twice the range of its traditional counterparts. By utilizing these in our navy, we will greatly increase our combat effectiveness. Great. Torpedo cruisers? Ooh, very nice. Hmm. Torpedo... Eh, we don't really get enough things for that. I mean, I'd like to use them, but I don't think we really should use them yet. There you go. Focus more on that stuff for now. Cool. Actually, come to the bottom. There you go. That'll be good. Working a little bit more on rubber, which is good. More, more, more here. That'd be good. Uh, raise you up by one more. <clears throat> All right. We have enough to get a new general. And that is Comet Colt. Very cool. Making plenty of this. We don't need any of this stuff, which is good. Motorized, now we good. Anything else? Research. We got something else done. Oh, torpedoes. Even more torpedoes. Actually, that hurts us how so. Minus 1% max speed. More torpedo attack. More production cost. Okay, well, whatever. It is what it is. It's still 1018. Long last torpedoes. That'd be really good. Because then I'll, since we have that, I'm also focusing on that a little bit more. Faster defense. Cool. Let's grab some form of our department. That'd be fine. We're no longer mobilizing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. How are we looking around here? Uh, well, they're not looking great in some areas. The enemies aren't. Yeah, this is still an incredibly weak group here. Go high. we got to focus on that a little bit more. Great. Uh, throw the divisions over here, then. That'd be fine. You know what? Do medium as well for upgrades. Because in some areas, we, we are really doing really quite well. Other areas, not so much. You know deploy, deploy them early. Throw... Fill out the ranks here first. That looks so much better. Support weapons four. Let's go over here. Uh, bad weather penalty. Eh, I'll give you this one. Why not? <clears throat> not bad, not bad. And now you guys definitely have soldiers that need to train. But this makes their line quite, hopefully, a bit stronger. Hopefully, quite a bit stronger. Radar's looking decent. Absolute knowledge about the entire area. Now we're gonna leave this undefended for now, which is probably a bad idea. But whatever. Plenty of guns, plenty of everything else that we need. Maybe except for anti-air. Planes. Cryptology, obviously we gotta do this group. Hmm. This is not gonna be a fun war. But let's go ahead and do Star Wing class battleships, because we can. The Star Wing class battleship promises to be the flagship of our new Lake City Navy. There are few ships that would be able to compare to sheer tonnage, firepower, and production this design offers. This construction of such a ship would forever assure the security of our shores from hostile interference. Well, hopefully. I'm going to deploy them early. Oh no, I'm going to deploy them all early. Ooh, Pegasus by weathering engineering? Cool. Let's grab some better weather penalties. Come on. There we go. That should be everyone there, right? All 24 divisions? Wow, we are running out of manpower. Pony power. Oh, boy. Pull him over there. Make sure everyone is training. And at the end of this episode, we will go to war. I promise you that. Because we waited too long to not go to war. Yanko. Uh, I'm going to go and grab Ambusher. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be quite the ungodly war here. Uh, how's air bases doing? We're doing okay-ish. Radio interception, cool. Battlefleet concentration, cool. Anything else? Artillery. Oh yeah, we can probably. No, we can't do that yet. That's fine. Better anti-air. Might as well. Another soldier. Emerald mythic. Yes, please. And we probably would save our political power for raising our conscription level once again. But unfortunate. Oh, more divisions. Oh, more pegasi. Yes, 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 yes. yes. This looks so bad. <laughs> this looks so terrible. Oh, you guys. Three more air wings. There you go. One, two. Yeah, we're, we are, our air force is going to get cut down quite a bit, probably. Oh, boy. That's not good. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And then do that. And then... Another 200. Do we have any more tactical bombers? Oh, yes, we do. Yes, please.
or put them right there. Two, three, four. Put you right there, because you can. One, two, three. Uh, put them right there. Cool. Advanced ship torpedoes. Get max them out. Just max them out. Torpedo cruisers. Eh. I mean, we might make some, but at this point, it really doesn't matter too much. Dual purpose stuff. Level 4 cruiser engines. Radar 4 is fine. Anti air 3 is okay. Rapid fire guns. We might make some of these. We'll see what happens. Our torpedoes. That's fine. Lots of anti air. Even anti sub stuff might not be bad to do as well. We're gonna wait for the torpedo stuff there. Uh, heavy battleships. There you go. Anything else? Three. Even more anti air. There you go. And then heavy fours. I don't want to put too many on there. Uh, more, even more anti air. It's not bad. Cool. Awesome. We can actually make some heavy ships too. But now we still need a little bit more rubber. Hmm. Which we'll get from that, which is good. That's not a lot of army XP. And we're, oh goodness, we're out of manpower. One, two, three. Cool. Yanak. Description two. I'm gonna do this. Half of you guys go here. Oh, that army's almost done. But the other half has to come here too. Give it some time. Alexei the Naval Infantry. Cool. Marine technology. Uh, I guess might as well. The expansion of our nation into the realm of naval conflict has been brought to our attention the lackluster performance of our army when attempting to launch naval assaults. We can address this issue by allowing Lake City Navy to recruit its own infantry formations, training and equipping it, equipping them as they see fit. Cool. Uh, so here's what my plan. I'm not going to go to war with them until we're ready, but I'll do the rest of this off screen. If you want to read about the 100 ship navy, go right ahead, which looks great. As well as Fortress Busters, as well as Maintenance Corps, because in the beginning of the next episode will be another time lapse as we go to war with the Griffonian Empire and I struggle against them. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will go to war with the Griffonian Empire and struggle probably really greatly. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.